Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com, setting the record straight about Twitter. Twitter has a sidebar which used to be called Twitter Trends, but now is called What's Happening. Originally, the idea behind the sidebar was to show what people were tweeting about the most. But over time, Twitter started manipulating the trends to hide ones which were not politically correct. And now the sidebar has evolved into nothing but Democratic Party propaganda. At the top, they have a fawning article about Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, describing them as new stars. Then they have an article in support of unverifiable mail-in voting. And at the bottom, they have a hit piece on Steve Bannon. The rule used to be innocent until proven guilty, but for conservatives, guilt is now determined by the fact that somebody sought an investigation over their concerns. Here's one of the items from Twitter News. The New York Times reports, a former FBI lawyer plans to plead guilty to falsifying a document in a deal with prosecutors reviewing the Russia inquiry. Prosecutors are not expected to reveal any evidence of a broader conspiracy to undermine President Trump. All that the New York Times is saying is that the prosecutors are planning on talking only about this specific case and are not expected to reveal any other evidence. Now let's look at how Twitter changed the words to create a big lie. They said, The investigation is not expected to reveal any evidence of a broader conspiracy to undermine President Trump, the New York Times reports. But that's not what the New York Times said at all. The New York Times is referring to one specific event. Then Twitter took it upon themselves to lie and make it sound like the New York Times was referring to the entire investigation. Twitter is showing exactly how fake news works. And on the censorship front, Twitter continues to block my images, block my polls, and they're deleting about 80 of my old followers per day. But fortunately, I'm getting about 100 new followers per day, so they're not keeping up. And after banning Katie Hopkins a few weeks ago, they've just banned another prominent conservative because he was guilty of telling the truth. Bill Mitchell kept getting suspended for telling the truth, which appears to be against Twitter policy. He had more than half a million followers and was now banned permanently because he continued trying to tell the truth, even though Twitter didn't want him to. If Twitter was an honest broker, they would have banned themselves a long time ago. Because Twitter itself is by far the largest producers of fake news on Twitter. Toto has been suspended from Twitter a few times, and he's not very happy about the censorship. Toto wonders why the American Civil Liberties Union doesn't jump in to defend people who are having their rights violated by Twitter. But Toto knows the answer to that. He knows that the American Civil Liberties Union is actually a bunch of political hacks who have very little concern about constitutional rights. You can visit Toto on the web at realclimatescience.com.